Struggling to add a little extra flair to your DJ live stream? Today, I'm gonna show you how to add Serato video or Rekordbox video to your live stream and help you level it up, give your viewers a much cooler experience. Stick around. What's happening fam? This is Jason from Overcast TV and today there is a special treat for you. I'm going to show you in addition to all of the previous tutorials that have showed you how to stack video layers together, this is going to be the one that probably really gives you the live VJ experience and takes you from your bedroom to the main stage or at least visually online. So uh, it's actually way simpler than you think. Um, there are a number of different softwares out there. I have experimented mostly with Serato video so I will be doing further tutorials on how to actually use Serato video, uh, but the same principles will apply if you are using Rekordbox video or even Resolume or any of the other VJ software. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. It's much easier than you think. And uh, this is going to give you a, a way to actually interact with and modulate and change the video while you're mixing, which uh, is a whole lot more fun in my opinion. So without further ado, let's get into it. First thing that we're going to want to do is go down here to our scenes. We're going to add a new scene and we're going to call this Serato video DJ and tell it okay. Here we are in the new scene and the next thing we do is go down into our sources here and we're going to want to click plus and you're going to want to add a window capture. We will call this one Serato DJ window and then tell it okay. From here, first of all, I should point out, you're going to want to have Serato DJ open and Serato video open uh, if you haven't done so. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment once we bring up the window, but if they are already open, then you go down here under your drop down menu and find Serato DJ Pro and add that. We'll go ahead and tell it okay. And as you can see, that is now active. So we do need to crop that little part off the top and then do a little bit of transforming so it fits the video, fits the canvas rather. So first thing I do is go up here, I hold down Alt or Option and you'll see that the top bar turned green there. So I do that to crop in on it. And then from there, I'll go ahead and drag the corner up so it's the same size as the overall canvas. Now, I don't recommend doing this in traditional design, but I suspect for a DJ live stream, probably won't be a huge problem to stretch the transform a little bit. So we're gonna hold down Shift, click on that right side red bar, and drag it out so it fits the canvas. So there we go. We'll go and lock that into place, and now it fits the canvas perfectly. So if you do want to show off the actual software while you're mixing to your audience for whatever reason, you can do so. For this example, I just wanted to show you so I can show you uh, how to activate Serato Video. Obviously, you've already got to have punched in the license code. I'm not going to get into that, but to bring it up, you would go up to this little button right here that looks like a piece of film, click it, and it will open up all of these controls down here. Now, you'll want to add a track uh, so one of the tracks that you want to mix to either deck and then from there you'll go down and add video sources underneath here in a similar fashion so basically what I would have done here is click in fact why don't I just show you this with Serato so let me pull that up now you can see the Serato DJ window and same thing here it would just be you know select your track drag it up and add it. Whoops, that's not the right one. And <laughs> drag it up and add it. And uh, you know, we've already got our cue points set. I can do some tutorials on Serato DJ if you are interested in future ones. If that's the case, drop me a comment below and let me know. And I'll show you how to set up cue points and all that kind of stuff. So we've got our tracks added. So it's really that simple. And then once you've got your track added on there, then you'll want to go down and add video sources. So from here, I've got this one called glitch box. We're going to put that on the left. And now let me drag this. I've got it on a second monitor here. So now you can see here is my Serato video window. And if I pull this down a little bit, I don't have my hardware hooked up, so I'm not going to show you this actually in action today. But you can see here if I use the crossfader and I fade to the left, it shows the video on the left and I fade to the right shows the full video on the right. You can kind of see where this is going. Like I said, we'll do more tutorials on this in the future. Anyway, you want to make sure when you click this, it will bring up all those controls and it will also pop up this window. I do recommend going down to it if you're using a Mac, right click options and tell it to display it on all desktops. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and drag this over to my second desktop to get it out of the way. And then we're going to go back to OBS. Here we are back in OBS. And now that I've shown you those examples, I'm going to go ahead and hide this Serato DJ window. And now we're going to add the video source. So same thing here, click the plus in your sources, go to window capture, and we'll call this one Serato DJ video capture. Tell it okay. Same thing here, go to your pull down, and then from there just look for the one for Serato video output. Tell that okay. 
And you can see it's a little bit undersized for the, the canvas. So I'm going to drag that corner and scale it till it's approximately the correct size. And then same thing we did with our previous video. I'm going to go ahead and hold down Alt, and pull that down to cut off that top bar. So now it looks like it should fit pretty well. Probably going to have to do the same thing there is just transform it just a little bit. So once you snap that into place, hold down Shift and just pull that over to make it fit. I'm going to lock that into place. And now when you're mixing, this will show up behind you. Next thing that we're going to want to do is if you can see here, you know, I've, I've advocated this in the past in previous tutorials. What you're going to want to do is add your camera scene to it. My camera scene has my microphone and my camera with the green screen keyed out. So again, I'll show you there's another tutorial on that. From there, we go back into our sources, click plus, And from here, we want to add a scene. And the beautiful part about this is they're all alphabetized. So if you called it camera scene and you don't have too many A's or B's in front of it, it should be right up there at the top. Click OK. And boom, just like that, you are in the scene and ready to rock. Once you've got it sized appropriately, so depending on how you want to set yourself, maybe you want to make it this big, maybe you want to scale it down smaller. Again, an easy way to do that. Go into your filters and uh, you can add the scaling aspect ratio filter like this. I've already got one on here. So in this instance, I've got it set to 960 by 540. So if you want to scale it down, you can do so. Let me pull this out of the way. And then you can drag yourself around and place yourself wherever you like. This is all entirely to taste. Um, I'm going to drag that back up to the corner because I do want to go ahead and remove it because doing it on that scene is going to affect it in any other scene that I use the camera scene in. FYI, something to look out for. We'll deactivate that. Click it in, lock it into place. And there you go, you're good to go. From here, all you've got to do is hook up your hardware and you're ready to rock. Now, I will do subsequent tutorials with the hardware hooked up and show you this stuff in action so you can kind of get a feel for what it's like to DJ slash BJ live. But for now, I hope this was very helpful in getting you to uh, get it set up, add it to your DJ live stream. So uh, until then, guys, if you are looking for the best source for BPM synced visuals to make your VJ live stream or DJ live stream better, look no further than overcast.tv. Just punch it into your browser, head over there. We've got tons of packs that are custom made for you to be able to create very unique unique scenes and uh, it makes it even more fun to play with it um, you know using the the Serato DJ live so we'll get into that in further tutorials but until then guys this is Jason from Overcast TV see you next time and until then I'll see you online